<laughs> Clear that throat for the morning. We are in Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is south of Charlotte, North Carolina, which is right on the border. Stayed at this pilot before. Got here late last night. <clears throat> Did the old A2 split. And this was a not that tight. We got right in here, but it was pitch black and pouring rain and should have videoed it. <clears throat> Dang. Gargling on coffee. But at first I came pulling in here from the entrance, came this way, and was going to try to back in this way and jack it in, and you just couldn't see with all the rain and the light shining in the mirrors, and I was like, oh man, I don't want to hit this nice truck next to me, so I went back out, came back in, or no I didn't, I went around and you turned in front of the fuel house, came over this way, brought the back of the truck over here and just did the 90 jack right in. I would have made it one shot if those yellow things weren't there. But I had to do a pull up. Sometimes we impress ourselves. In the rain, in the pitch black. But this is a tight little pilot. It's a nice little pilot. <clears throat> I've stayed here a bunch of times. And lo and behold, you know, we got here at midnight. And we reserved this parking spot uh, when I booked the trip because I knew because of the hours. It was going to be tight and there's nowhere to park up there. Yeah, buddy, the entrance is the next one. They actually had a trailer. They actually had a load this time. I think we're just moving carts around. They, when they put all the packages to a zip code, they just jam them all in a cart. Or when they do their sort. And you drop the carts off at whatever Amazon facility. And then they jam them in a package van and away to go, but these are just empty carts. Kind of heavy for empty carts. Well, as far as Amazon goes. <laughs> so our fuel economy will be dropping today. Be seeing 12 plus today. We'll be in the uh, hopefully we're in the 8 9 range. But it's Sunday morning. And we're off to Miami. Should make it all the way there today, but there's nowhere to park, so we'll probably stop up the West Palm area, Boca area. Giant rest area right there. Hopefully we can get a spot in there. We should be there early enough that it should be an issue. And hopefully traffic is less than it was yesterday. My God! That was brutal. So you gotta love it. Getting over 
over two dollars a mile yesterday to pop tail around the country they were paying us to visit Amazon facilities we just go in for a visit gotta love that I mean it seems like kind of a waste of time and I was thinking about it and it was starting to agitate me a little bit I was thinking this is a huge waste of time but then you think about my other methodology for trucking is you know I don't, give, I don't care what I'm hauling you're still gonna pay me right load it in there so it's under the same mindset they're gonna pay me to go visit facilities all right let's visit right now I'm gonna get on the uh, 26 over to 95 and then just flat foot it down 95 all right that was a first I just did my pre-trip an hour ago and I checked this I looked at the, uh, I, well, let's start back. I hear on the CB, it's like a uh, guy says, hey, Prime, you got your ears on? I was like, yeah, go ahead. He goes, your back door's open. I'm like, what? How can that be? I just checked it an hour ago, right before I left. So the only thing I can think of, this is carts and it's not sealed. That when you close the latch, you flip the little thing over that you can put a padlock or a seal or a whatever, a little safety catch. That thing must have hit a bump and popped up and then another bump and the thing loosened up. That's the only logical explanation. So, I pulled over on the shoulder and I carry seals with me those so I shut the doors and put a seal on it and the, the, the thing pops up and then the trailer flexes who knows anyways price is averted That was very nice of the flatbed guy. Less, nah, somebody would have told me before that. Second and less, while I was sitting in the truck, somebody went back there and was peeking right before I left. But I would have seen that door flop in. miles ago but we're in Columbia South Carolina put our flopping door Heard 
on the CB. 95 southbound shut down. About 20 miles from here. So we're getting off. Scoot over Route 78 here to Route 21 South and avoid the whole mess. In 600 feet, keep left the fork. Signs for US yeah, GPS is going crazy. Keep left the fork, then sharp left onto the I-95 South Ramp. No. Sharp left onto the I-95 South Ramp. How about no? down these back roads. On a nice Sunday morning drive. Oh yeah. Love this kind. Beats up the monotony of just cruising up and down 95. 